How's it going, everybody? I'm Danny D. This is Seven Deadly Bananas, and we are about to watch The Bear Season 2. I'm gonna just jump right into this. <laughs> Here we go. I Googled fun the other day. Oh, nice. What provides amusement? He's or still doing the groups. That's what it means. I'm really glad he's still doing the groups. Like, considering the amount of chaos this guy is going through with everything going on, finding a safe place to be able to talk about it and not feel like you're complaining or whining. A group designated for this kind of talk, you know what I mean? Like, it's more mind-oriented towards people being willing to listen and people being willing to talk about real shit. Currently opening a restaurant that's providing zero amusement or enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, I don't think my family meant to ruin it or anything like that. You know, I, I don't think they did it on purpose, but I, I think sometimes they just they try too hard, you know, or they'd make promises that they weren't able to keep. Many people would take the scenario that he's talking about with his family and the feeling of sabotage. It's really nice to see this because he, he's looking at it through a particular kind of lens. This is a decision you make to do this, you know. I have to remind myself to breathe sometimes. I, um, I have to remind myself to, uh, to be present, you know. I remind myself that the sky is not falling, that um, there is no other shoe, which is incredibly difficult because there's always another shoe. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I'm happy to be here. Thank you guys. Thanks for letting me share. If you ask me, he's he's just used to the chaos. It's it's hard to find a way out of it when you're still neck deep in it, you know? It really is. It's one of the things that beats you down and keeps you there. For the many employees that have worked at the restaurant for decades, this huge game is a devastating so this is set around the COVID time. I don't know, I didn't know that. Do we have any miles? Uh, yes, Pete, at uh, United. Can we use them? Of course. Can I put you something crazy? We send Mark to somewhere? So maybe not so crazy. <laughs> I just was thinking it might be good to send him somewhere wild. Wild like? Like Copenhagen? Yeah, yeah, I got spots there. I mean, I figured you would. They said Marcus, right? Like, that, that was the, the, the pastry guy. I suck with names, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want to make sure. By the way, what they're cooking looks bomb. <laughs> That's why we're doing this, all right? I want to make a suggestion. I think our palates are fucked. <laughs> Inspiration. It's going to take me about an hour to clean this up, and then I'll uh, meet you at Kasama. Does sound good? Yeah, sounds good. I get that there's already been kind of uh, a, a heat up between those two characters, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't know, actually, because he 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 does come off a little on the, I, I'm better than you a little bit, but he's kind of earned that title at the same time. Like he backs it up. That's a hard thing to come to when you're probably an up and comer type person. Oh, I love her, by the way. She has made leaps and bounds in just the short period of the show's been on. Oh, and they're still demoing. <laughs> Fuck. Ready? Here we go. No, it was the weenie. It was the weenie dog. Ah. Oh, is it the car seat thing? Frank, huh? And mom got a race too, which is why Uncle Frank got the good cake from Weber's. That's awesome. <laughs> but you still have to pay child support because fair is fair. I love taking care of you. <laughs> and I always will. You know that? <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> I'm not laughing at him. I'm laughing more at the situation. Like, kids have such a way of just kind of bringing out the worst in you in terms of, like, the honesty involved. <laughs> I know, Daddy. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Give me a hug. I feel for this guy. I really do. Like, he, again. Yeah. Look at that. All right, back, back attack. Here we go. I love you. And Eva, I love Taylor Swift, too. I just needed a break, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. That was amazing. I love Taylor Swift. I just needed a break. <laughs> that was cool. You know I know you're in 
entire family and all the facts, right? <laughs> You know all the facts. Yeah, I know all the fucking facts, and they're gonna come beat you up. Uh, <laughs> there are, um, there are a lot of facts. Yeah. <laughs> She's putting in some effort. They're really big boxes, and I need a really big car. Do you still have that van? Yes. No, we do. We still have that van. Um, I am in. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really. Is it me or is he still giving off a sense like he's kind of obligating himself to this? Like why? I don't know. He's giving me a sense like he's just kind of forcing himself to do this, but hesitant because of something. Like not just that he doesn't like her or something. I don't think it's along those lines. I think it's just like, you know, I don't know, super guarded. I know where it is. Are you sure? Because I'm worried about your number issue. Oh, there you go. At least he's smiling. I know where it is. Obviously they have a history, you know, but it doesn't... Yeah, see? See, I was right. What is he? What is he worried about? But hopefully, we learn. Come on, B. Start so I'm gonna assume that she's just feeling like he sent her out because she's the problem. I, I feel like that's the vibe that she is getting. I don't know if I'm fully right on that. We've got a busy night tonight, so we've got 180 on the books, and it starts right at four o'clock. So I want to make sure that everything is perfect right when we open. Uh, she's really taking notes though. This is cool. This is really cool. Is there a timeline to opening? We want to open in May. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's like, holy shit. <laughs> Make sure you have a great partner, someone you can trust. We had a terrible business partner who took all of our money and flew off to Hawaii. I wish that wasn't a common story in this business, but you know, these things happen all the time. I can see how all of this can be pretty overwhelming as well. It's really cool to see her taking this as serious as she is. Like I didn't expect that to see to see this, you know. What up, chef? Hey, sorry, I'm by a fucking train. Did anybody uh, come through? Uh, just like 15. Mm -hmm. Looking for jobs? Looking for permits. Yo, fat, any new hires, bro? No, just people that weren't nice. Yeah, people that weren't nice. <laughs> just let me know if anybody comes by. Yeah, sure. Oh, also, Marcus, there's something I want to run by you later. Looking forward. Okay, bye. Um, do you know the beef on Orleans? I, I heard these people are, um, they're revamping it. It's gonna be like a cool... <laughs> You're seriously not poaching in front no. of me right now. Uh, yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> right, <yep. laughs> oh, damn. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. I would have been like, oh, sorry, never mind. No, kidding. <laughs> it would have been exactly like her. Hi. Hi, what, what are you doing here? I love shaker. What, uh, what, 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 yeah, what's, ha what, what is this? <laughs> well, you got wood rot, you got termites, you got roaches, you got oh, dead shit. raccoons. Dead raccoons. Like, um, damn, terrible. Uh, damn. What, uh, sorry. So we just knocked everything down? Yeah, yeah. That was the whole counter space, right? You know, for, for, for next time, what should I have done? <laughs> um, th this just feels like, uh, uh, obviously a really big decision and it would have sure. been nice to have been included in it. I'll let you know. Yeah. Thanks, Chef. Yeah, thank you, Chef. <laughs> I don't think there was anything wrong with that at all. I, I honestly, like I, I get that maybe he feels in the heat of the moment, but hopefully he'll be able to breathe and kind of see what that was. If I could cash in on that favor. Um, yeah, do, do you still have a kitchen I could borrow? Ah, uh, shit. I've always wanted to make pasta. I've always wanted to do this. Seems like a lot of work, but it feels like the payoff would be dope. Okay. I, I can't even, there's probably so many things going on in her head right now. If you like that highlight and you wanna see more of me watching this completely unedited, hit that link below, Seven Deadly Bananas on Patreon. Get in there and start watching TV with me. Oh, even that, all of that is stressing me out. <laughs> Fuck me. Suck my butt. <laughs> I love it. Fuck my life to death, Jesus Christ. I've never said it that far. I've definitely said fuck my life. And we only have a couple walls left standing. Why, why did we get rejected? Well, because we filed for a new name. 
Why is that a problem? Well, because we never filed for a first name. Uh -huh. Bear, mm. and pay a fine for not doing business as the beef originally, Fuck. because according to the IRS, we're assholes. So it's a <laughs> money thing? Yeah, it's all another money thing, Carm. Hey, hmm. you okay? Yeah. Mm. Don't tell anyone. I thought they already knew. I don't want this to change anything. Okay, I don't want to be treated any different. Shit. Because of how we grew up and everything in our lives, I really want this to be loving and good and happy. I just don't want anyone to know. I mean, I thought they already knew about the pregnancy or, or something. For some reason. It's more in my control to decide to <laughs> pregnant. I was gonna say. Congratulations! I fucking knew it! <laughs> That fucking guy always <laughs> That's amazing. Well, I'm gone. Christy's here. Chester's here. And I'm always a call away if you need anything. I think it's what? Eight, nine hour difference. It doesn't matter. And whatever it is, you can call me at any time. I'll be she awake. Okay? I'll have my phone right by me. You know, if she blinks okay. three times, it means she's thirsty. I she know. likes to have the blanket halfway up, not all I the know. way to her shoulders. Yeah, I, I, I just... I, I know. Hey, I got her. Sorry, hang on. That that whole thing just felt a little too familiar. <laughs> this so this is this is a friend of the bear guy, right? God, he's probably all kinds of smiles. He's just blown away. Oh, this fucking guy! What? This Chef, fucking um, guy. I'm Marcus Brooks. I'm from. Oh, no, I'm Luca. A Street. Start at 5 a.m. This guy has such a unique look to his face. He always fit all of the old school movies. Like the, like, I, I feel like he fits that 1950s kind of facial look. I, I feel like he should be in a lot of movies like that from that era. Nuzzle that slither into the pudding just to lock it in. Yes, yeah, chef. No, clockwise, chef. Start the same way. Uh, yes, yeah, chef. Oh. No, again, chef. So I'm, I'm a little nervous. He's not playing with him, though. Just be confident about it. Don't second guess yourself. Yes, sir. Good words. Sounds good. Yeah, it's a nice dish. Hmm. He's, he's got no flex in his voice. He's not like yelling. He's just this, 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 and this. And it seems effortless as well. Like he's not forcing him to do, he's not forcing himself to talk this way. And then just pour that into right there. Oh. Then uh, give me two ladles of that into there and just balloon the gelatin. Yes, sir. Interesting. So again, under that same context, he's not telling him he's doing a bad job. He's not saying, hey, you're doing this wrong or anything of that nature. If he's doing it right, don't tell him anything. Let him set it. We're just looking Shit. for somebody who can commit to a pretty full schedule. Heard. I'm there. You are hired. <laughs> it's interesting when you're hiring people, their responses have, like, if, you're, if you know what to look for, you know exactly the kind of person you're looking to hire, and a lot of the other things that they bring to the table don't necessarily matter as much, because you're more kind of trying to see their dedication level, like, are they going to be there, like, you know, is there any kind of discrepancy with, like, the, the hours thing, you know, we're looking for somebody to get here five, six days a week, oh, but I can't work Fridays, that, I mean, for some reason, even though it seems like a relatively uh, reasonable response, she's more than likely gonna need her Fridays. <laughs> Fridays are probably a big day, it's probably the most important day. Friday and Saturdays are usually the busiest days. So it's like, ah, you're out. You know, it's like, fuck. I really like the city. It's really cool. Um, the place the I'm staying at is a boat. <laughs> oh, the restaurant is beautiful. It smells really good in there. <laughs> That's an interesting observation. No, I'm down on my knees. It's very flawny. Like operation. Look at all that jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. All right. There you are. <laughs> it's so jiggly. Oh, he's meaning to do that. I thought he was fucking it up. <laughs> it kind of tastes like a um, anti-snack as well. 
A minty Snickers bar. <laughs> That's crazy. And he's smiling. That guy's patience is amazing. Uh, yeah, I got a younger sister somewhere, yeah. Why was that hesitant? He's got his own story for sure. <sighs> Honestly, I uh, made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> That's a secret. Just fuck up. It might be, you know, fuck up. <laughs> truth. Hashtag truth. However you do the hand signal for the hashtag. <laughs> hashtag truth bomb. Making mistakes is the, I wouldn't call it the best way to learn. I, you know what? I would call it that. <laughs> you know what? I wasn't the best. And I was never going to be the best. So I started looking at it like it was a good thing. Like at least I knew who the best was now and I could take that pressure off myself. This is a prime example of, again, what I was talking about in the, the shameless that came out this last, this same week. How you choose to perceive the reality around you has everything to do with what you're going to take from it. You like Pippin. Who's Pippin? Scotty Pippin. He's oh, like okay. Michael Jordan. I thought he was talking He's about Michael Jordan. <laughs> nice. You spend all the time in the world in here, but if you don't spend enough time out there, right? you know? Helps have good people around you too. He's, this is some real world, you know, like life shit he's talking about right here. You can literally take what he's talking about and apply it, just change some words around and apply it to almost every scenario you can think of. Look at that, look at beauty. Looking pretty, dude. Got your little fuzz latte foam shits. Your mint sprig. Well, a leaf. It's probably just a leaf. Oh, he is saying oh. help. Fuck. Shit. Um. I'd call somebody, dude. That's the first thing you do. Alright, um. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Fuck. Um. Oh, shit, this yeah. Fuck it's on your fucking. It's on your neck. Um. Alright. Ah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, dude, you don't want to fuck with that. Call an ambulance. Dude, how fast was he going? <laughs> Is there a hill? He's too old to be going that fast. Dude, the music is ominous. What is about to happen? Well, bike seems okay. It just hops right on. Pedal sure, you want to get back on the bike? Dude, what was with the music right there? I feel like the scene, he, they were trying to make the scene send a message. I don't know, I keep having this nightmare that Christy's calling me, telling me that my mom's dead. And then I wake up and everything is fine. And I don't know. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to hold it back. Oh, shit. Hello? 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 Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I can play too much. <laughs> Is there like a, a spark? Is there kind of a spark happening between those two? Oh, you just taking all of that? That's a lot. That's a big ass mouthful right there. Hey, okay, okay, that's cool. That was cool. That was a cool way to end it right there. I don't know, like for me, <laughs> If I were learning how to cook, I feel like my own taste buds would be the worst things to go on. <laughs> you know, because me simply, I mean, me, I, I, and I think a lot of my chef friends that I've had in the past, I eat very plainly. I don't bother with a lot of like sprucing up. It's like salt and pepper is usually just kind of my main things. And that's about it. And is there a spark? Is the spark happening? Am I saying, I mean, I was kind of getting a little bit of a vibe before, but I thought maybe it might've been just like good friendship, you know, he developing there. They both have a common ground when it comes to the workload. And I, I thought it was also maybe about his mom and stuff like that. You know, it's like she was showing him, you know, just a, a good loving relationship because of that scenario as well. But I don't know. It seemed like maybe there was a little bit more of a step forward on the possibility of a spark. I don't know. But yeah, great show. Glad I'm watching it. I don't care what YouTube says. <laughs> Thanks again for watching with me, you guys. I absolutely appreciate it. And we will see you on the next episode.